All right, so I'm here with uh, Slim Kofi. I call him Mr. International. I mean, he's been doing a lot of stuff. And if you follow, if you follow some of the things I've written about him uh, from the very beginning to now, and uh, lots of things that he's been up to, especially in Europe, and uh, obviously he's also been trying to get things done here in Ghana. So Kofi, uh, what brings you to Ghana? Uh, well, I came to chill actually, but then coming. It changed a lot of perspectives. Like now, I've seen the new trends, everything going on, and it has turned from holiday to work. So basically, working now. In Ghana, so in terms of work, I've recorded something since you got yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I recorded a song with uh, Joel from YFF. It sounds, it sounds good. It sounds good. So I can't wait for you to hear it, and, and I know what you even think about. What's it. the title? Yeah. What's the title? What's it about? Uh, love and one thing. Love one thing. Yeah, so it's about love. Yeah, but I love, but not the typical kind of love. Gangster where, love. <laughs> yeah, a little bit gangster love, but it's a bit more of an exotic love. Yeah, so exotic love, a bit more tension. Cool, like I said in the intro, you've been doing this and getting a lot of buzz uh, in Netherlands where you're based and also in parts of Europe. Uh, but when you come home, uh, you haven't gotten the buzz through yet. What do you think the challenge is? I think the challenge, one of the main challenges is the fact that I don't live in Ghana like for a longer period of time. Anytime I come, I have to be put in work and then I go back because I, I run events I saw in Amsterdam. And another challenge, I don't know, because I'm more European influenced, so if I make music, it has some European influence in it. And sometimes I feel like Ghanaians haven't caught up to that trend yet. I tried making some local songs, but they don't come out as the normal songs I make and I think yeah in time people catch up to it because uh, since I came I get I have some people that come up to me and say oh we love your tingling song which I felt like Ghanaians didn't connect to it but at least some Ghanaians connected to it so it's more about distance and not being around a lot so I mean that obviously creates some sort of uh, conundrum because uh, you either stick to what you're doing and uh, hope that Ghanaians will relate to it or now you switch to what you think the Ghanaians like. Uh, so how, in your mind, uh, what do you want to do? Well, in the beginning, I kind of wanted to do what Ghanaians would like, like forget what I know how to do and try to adapt to what I feel Ghanaians like. But in the end, I, I don't think that's going to work out. But in the end of the day, we're making music to promote Ghanaian culture. So if I'm just going to promote Ghanaian culture in Ghana, then where is our culture going? So I'd rather make that music where the international people can feel accustomed to it, but I still put that Ghanaian culture in there so that other people around the world can get used to Ghanaian culture. And that's what I've been doing for the past time, like going around Europe, promoting Ghanaian culture through the European style that I know. And it's, it's, it's working out. And you also got to perform on uh, Miss Netherlands, which is like a, like a, a big deal because, like you said, uh, it's, it, it's a pageant that it's from Netherlands and to have a Ghanaian yeah. African uh, perform <laughs> on the finale, it's a big deal. Uh, how, did it, how did it happen and how was it feeling like for you? Actually, it, it, was, it, was, it was actually one of the biggest things I've done, one of the biggest performances I've done. And the way it came out was, was too fun. I had a show with our 2 uh, in Amsterdam, Almeri actually. And then a friend of mine that was also in the pageant was... Uh, we were having a talk backstage, so we were just jamming and talking and I just threw it on the table, I thought it like, hey, you know what, you know how nice it would be if you're going to go on set and I perform Tingling with you? And she's like, oh, the presenter, and Kim Kota, shout out Kim Kota, very nice lady, she's like, oh, Kim Kota loves the music, it's on, uh, it's on her playlist, her favorite song, so I'm going to talk to her and see if she's down with it. And I was like, alright, cool, fingers crossed, just let me know what she thinks. The next day, she just sends me a message on WhatsApp like, yo, Slim. She said, do it, like, it's gonna be dope. I was like, you're joking. But I didn't believe it. No one has ever performed Miss Nader that I know of. And for an African, that I, don't, I wasn't even born in Holland. So to move from Ghana uh, into Holland just a couple of years later, and then they're gonna call me on the stage, uh, on the stage where the whole Holland is gonna see it. It's incredible, man. And I really appreciate anyone that made it possible for me to do that. Great. And so in terms of the music, what, what, what next for you? I think for now, it's, uh, I'm still based an emphasis on the music because I want to get that following going so I can spread my message across and then later move into other sectors. But now I'm also doing uh, events. I have this event called Afrokan. Afro. It's a bit more of an African diaspora thingy. So 
not only for Africans, but everyone around the world that has been influenced by African culture, we come together and show what Af the influence we had from Africa. There's been more Afro house, Afro beat, and deep house. And then later, I want to get into movies, not acting, but writing and directing. <laughs> yeah. Good. Uh, so, so, any final words to Ghanaians, especially, and of course your fans everywhere? Yeah, man, like, I have a feeling there's a new wave coming in the Ghana music, and it, it, it is very serious. And people should kind of look out for it till it catches up. Like, there's some new dope art. Like, when I came last time, I went to Easy, uh, 69 was Easy, and then this guy's performed G West. Bro, dope. UGO, Mr. Easy. Like, the dope artists coming up, and they're coming from new sounds, some new wave, which has a more of an international appeal than what we're already doing. And not to say this in a bad way that our Ghanaian music we're doing is not good. It is dope. But if we're gonna reach the international market, if we're gonna make waves across the seas, then we need to adapt to what they're doing outside there, but still with our African influence, our Ghanaian culture. So let's just jump on this new wave, man. Let's let's jump on it and then watch out for the tune with Joey. No, Joel. Hey, my bad. Watch out for the tune with Joel, Log and One TT, some very future. We're going for it.